Hey guys, it's Chris. From the largest cat in the world to big cats with very dramatic markings, join me as I reveal eight of the most unique lions in the world today. Number eight, Liger. There are many beautiful animals in the world that have been created by humans and are not found naturally. One of the most amazing creatures and abnormally large ones is the Liger. Yes, Liger, as in lion and tiger. In this particular case, a male lion combined with a female tiger. Now you might think this kind of fusion is made up, but it's very real. What's more, the ligers are not only big, they're twice as big as their parents. That's right, twice as big. The largest liger in existence right now is named Hercules, which is appropriate given the figure of Hercules in Greek mythology and can be found in Myrtle Beach's Safari Wildlife Preserve in South Carolina. His stats are very impressive. For just in terms of length, he's over 10 feet long. In terms of height, he's over 4 feet tall, and he weighs over 900 pounds. I want you to imagine yourself standing next to Hercules and seeing just how massive he is close up. How do you think you'd feel? I think I'd be a little scared, probably. Despite being in captivity, Hercules has shown he can run over 55 miles per hour and has a running leap of over 40 feet. Hercules also has the world record for the largest cat in the world today. Number 7. Asiatic Lions When I say the word lion, and I follow up by asking, where do lions live? Two answers you'd likely give me are in zoos and in Africa. For the most part, you'd be absolutely correct. The vast majority of lion species do reside in Africa. However, there are a small sect of them that live in Asia. Hence, they were given the name Asiatic lions. As for where these particular species of lions reside, they live in a forest in India known as the Jir Forest. Quite interestingly though, the Asiatic lions did not start out in India, but rather it's where they ended up. At one point in time, they roamed the Middle East of Asia before slowly being hunted to near extinction and pushed to where they are now in the Jir Forest which is weird. Just as weird, the Jir forest was once a hunting ground for the royals of India to go and kill the lions. But now, the entire forest where the lions are located are in a reserve to keep them alive as their numbers are still really small. Though they are endangered, their current population is labeled as stable, a far cry from where they were some time ago. The Asiatic lion can be longer than a human is tall and weigh up to 500 pounds at times, as well as live a life of 18 years and sometimes even longer. Number 6. Barbary Lion In the world today, the preservation and defending of various animals from illegal poaching and hunting is a paramount endeavor. And one of the reasons that people feel so strongly about this is the loss of animals such as the Barbary Lion. At one point in time, the Barbary Lion roamed the northern parts of Africa, including places like Egypt and Maghreb. Their numbers were once very populous. However, with the arrival of firearms and gunpowder to the region, the ability to kill these lions became much more plausible. Rampant hunting erupted in the region, and the results of that unrestricted hunting resulted in the Barbary lion being regionally extinct. To be clear, a regionally extinct animal means that the animal is not anywhere in the region it was associated with, but it's not extinct globally. However, the numbers of Barbary lions in the world today are very, very small. Most of them now reside in zoos to attempt breeding and rebuilding the population. As for what the Barbary lion was like physically, well, the lion could grow to over 9 feet in length. It was a wide variety of colors and mane sizes, and some hunters stated that they could weigh over 600 pounds. And now for number 5. But first, be sure to subscribe to World List if you haven't already for more videos just like these. Number 5. Transfall Lion the Transvaal lion is a subspecies of lion that tends to reside in Kruger National Park, Lane Royal National Park, and the Kalahari region of Africa, though they're named after the Transvaal region of the continent. On the surface, they may seem like just another species of lion. However, they are the only lion species on Earth at present that suffer from a very rare disorder known as leucism, which is a condition in which there is partial loss of pigmentation in the animal resulting in white, pale, or patchy coloration of the skin, hair, feathers, scales, or cuticles, but not the eyes. If you're familiar with the condition known as albinism, then you're right in the ballpark for what leucism is. However, this is not the same kind of condition, as leucism happens with deficiencies across many different pigments, whereas albinism is just the deficiency of melanin. 
Having such a rare condition focused on this breed of lion makes them really special, even though this deficiency is rare in the breed itself. A slightly more positive feat for the Transfall lion came in 1936, where a hunter killed a Transfall lion and found it weighed a staggering 690 pounds, which makes this particular lion the biggest lion ever found. Number 4. Ethiopian Lion There are many places in Africa where lions once roamed but are now believed to be devoid of lions due to poaching, habitat issues, and the natural life of the world. And Ethiopia is one such place. At one time, there were lions there known as the Ethiopian Lion. And these particular lions stood out from the pride due to their sometimes unique colorings. But over time, they seemed to just vanish from the face of the continent, leaving many to wonder if they were gone for good. However, recent findings show that these lions are alive, but in small numbers. In one case, a group of lions just wandered into Altash National Park and shocked many by their presence as they didn't know that lions still existed in Ethiopia. The confirmation that lions persist in the area is exciting news, Born Free Foundation said in a statement. With lion numbers in steep decline across most of the African continent, the discovery of previously unconfirmed populations is hugely important. The other thing that separates the Ethiopian lion from others is that they occasionally have the ability to be all black in their fur color. A photo of one such lion was shown on the internet once, but was later proven to be a hoax. However, the idea of it really happening is not far-fetched, as it does happen to Ethiopian lions under the right conditions. But they are very rarely seen, and no official documentation of this kind of lion has been put forth. Number 3. Addis Ababa Lion Without a doubt, one of the biggest reasons for people thinking that lions are all the same and thus don't have any subspecies is because a vast majority of them do look the same in terms of size, coloring, and more, thus making it up to scientists and researchers to find the more unique lions when it doesn't appear they're around. This happened in Ethiopia in 2012, when a pride of lions at the Addis Ababa Zoo were believed to be much different from their fellow lion species. The reason for this was their size, which was smaller than other lions and their coloring, of which they had much darker manes than the species they were claimed to be. Scientists were brought in and found that 15 of the 20 lions that were there had distinctive genetic markers that truly did make them different from the other lion species, thus making the Addis Ababa lion a subspecies of lion and one that many felt needed to be protected and preserved. We therefore believe that the Addis Ababa lion should be treated as a distinct conservation management unit and are urging immediate conservation actions, including a captive breeding program, to preserve this unique lion population, Dr. Hofreiter said in a statement. What's more, now that this species has been found, scientists hope to find even more of these kinds of lions out in the wild. We hope field surveys will identify wild relatives of the unique Addis Ababa zoo lion in the future, but conserving the captive population is a crucial first step. Number 2. White Lion At first, you might think that the term white lion refers to the disease known as albinism, which affects many different species of animal all over the world. However, you would be wrong. There's a species of lion known as the white lion that has come specifically from South African lion subspecies. Unlike albinism, white lions are a byproduct of a rare gene mutation within the lion species. What's more, those that have albinism are known for having genetic defects, such as deformations of the body, lower mental capabilities, and more. These defects, if you will, result in the albino animals dying at a young age, and usually from a sickness or disease like cancer. Yet this does not happen to the white lions, as they live long and happy lives. Some were even taken in by the Global White Lion Protection Trust and reintroduced back into the wild, in which they lived happy lives without fear of being outcast or hunted by humans. Another unique thing about the white lion is that their mutation can make them be many shades of color, including being pure white all the way to pure blonde. Number 1. Cape Lion The Cape Lion was a distinct species of lion that was said to have emanated from the area around the Cape of Good Hope in the 19th century, thus giving it its unique name. Unlike many other lion species, the Cape Lion were unique for their manes, which had a very dark color compared to other lion species. However, despite their uniqueness, the people of the region felt that they would make good trophies, and now they're regionally extinct in Africa for the most part. There have been claims that other Cape Lions are alive, but genetics have yet to definitively prove this. 
Some scientists don't even consider the cape lion a subspecies of lion as of 2017, as they were mixed in with the Panthera lea melanotiaida species of lions. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. What did you think of these unique species of lion? Which one stands out the most to you? Which ones do you wish to see with your own two eyes? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List, and I'll see you next time.